Good morning. Welcome back to our pond. It's another cold morning, about 12 degrees Celsius at the moment. This is our pool, which we have converted into our main pond around two years ago. We have been carrying out water testing quite often, but only using the regular pool tester strips. Yesterday was the first time that we used specialized freshwater test kit, RICA, which is European made. It detects ammonia, which is NH3, nitrate, which is NO2, and pH in a high range of five to nine. Here we keep koi, as you can see. Just yesterday, we were testing the quality of the pond water, and we were shocked to find that the nitrate levels were at 1.6 milligrams per liter, which is considered toxic to koi and other freshwater fish. The pH came back as 7.2, close to neutral, and a slight detection of ammonia at around 0.15 milligrams per liter. That explains why our koi were flashing, jumping out of the water, and grasping for air. Earlier, the larger koi had their fins tucked away and were staying still at the bottom of the water, which is also another symptom that there's too much nitrite in the water. Our main aim this morning is to retest the nitrite level before treating the water. So, right now I'm about to test our water quality with the Ricker test kit, which as you can see can do NH3, NO2 and pH. So here we have our jar, a small container, which are we going to put um, five milliliters of the water in, of our pond water. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. So I'm back with five milliliters. Okay, now I'm going to put that inside of our container. Now we get number one for NO2, which is our nitrate, and we put five drops of it inside of this, and then we shake it. One, two, three, four, five. Now close this. We put the lid on onto our container and then we close it. And then we shake it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we get number two for NO2 again. Then we open it up. Take this off and put five drops into our container again. One, two, three, four, five. Now we put this back on and we close our container, put the lid on, and shake it up for ten seconds. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is our reading after five minutes. It's extremely dark, and compared to the um, testings, this is around 1.6 milligrams per liter, which is considered toxic to koi. And our readings last night were confirmed, are confirmed, and they were correct. So now in the next video, we will be going over on how to treat this problem.